Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing the Fully Cooly OVA series. I have seen lots of weird anime series and weird OVA series before, but this was the most bizarre series that I can remember. I was just so lost at times at how random and odd everything was. In this anime, the main character Nauta is just living ordinary life until one day he accidentally bumps into a woman named Haruko. After that, weird things start appearing out of his head like giant robots. Naota must fight these weird things that appear from his head, and deal with Haruko suddenly living at his house. When I say this OVA series is weird and random, I really mean it. The main character suddenly attacks his own family at times, these weird robotic things appear at any time, and the scenes keep shifting back and forth between the characters fighting and just relaxing. It's just so bizarre. I have never seen anything like this. It's so unique and chaotic. It's meant to just confuse you. Like the characters suddenly start fighting out of nowhere, and we have no idea what started the fight or how it began. The animation style got so weird at times, and the characters look like they came from South Park. It's an OVA series where the most random things will occur, and you're just left in confusion. I found the OVA series entertaining to watch though, because even though I was completely confused, I couldn't help but be amused about how weird it is. I'd rather watch this than see a boring anime where the hero must defeat the Demon King. The plot for this OVA series is just mind-blowing because the main villain is just so unexpected. I didn't see that plot twist coming at all. One of the most shocking reveals in terms of villains. And when you find out their master plan, you're just left in shock. I couldn't believe their mind was that twisted. What a nice plot twist. The plot is very confusing at times, but it does get easier to understand at the end. I'm not a fan of mecha fights, which is giant robot fights but I did like watching the final fight scene. That final fight scene just looked so good in terms of animation and how smooth it looked. The characters' interactions were amusing to watch, they were so funny together. It's really entertaining seeing Haruko and Mamimi tease Nauta so much. There was a weird love triangle between these characters, and it was exciting to see who Nauta would pick in terms of love. In terms of the characters, they were alright. Nauta was a male tsundere, which is rare, he got on my nerves though at times, because you just want to see him confess to a girl already. But he refuses to take action. He acted very rude towards the girls many times, and it wasn't funny to watch at all. He wasn't really that confident during battle, he just seemed like a typical male protagonist. Haruko was a great character in terms of how weird and seductive she was. Mamimi just annoyed me because she kept whining about Naoto's brother not being there for her all the time. It got very tiring hearing her complain over and over. The OVA series didn't have an opening song, the ending song was just okay, the music was good and really fit how bizarre scenes were, the animation style looked very good for an old OVA series, and the animation looked great during the bizarre fight scenes. I do recommend to watch this OVA series. It will be very confusing, and you won't really understand the plot at times, but it's just so entertaining seeing this OVA series being really random at times, and has very nice plot twists at the end. I give this OVA series a 7 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.